Hey, what's up gamers, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Ronin, our going medieval playthrough here on the Bears and Beans channel. As you can see, 4 o'clock in the morning, day 8 of spring. Picking up where we left off, we've got our bushes planted, we got a little, uh, a little extra overhang, so that's good. So here's what we can do, is we can expand it by going bop, and... Pop, pop, like that. See, so now those belong in. We got our cabbage. Ooh, what's going on here? All right, we're gonna have to chop these bad boys down. Sorry, friend. What is this? That is a berry bush. All right, we'll leave that. All right, so that's all looking good. Sweet. Got the wall. Got to finish up the roof here for our overhang for our cow um what is it male or female it is a male cow so let's call him bucky that's bucky all right and frodo and utrid are awake ready to start the day so i totally forgot that the reason we were waiting on the sports was so we could put a roof up on this so I went ahead and got the roof going. Looks like he's gonna start his morning off with a little prayer. We got the trees up here for him to chop and get ready. Oop, we need to allow that. Honestly, let's have him, when he's done praying, let's have him come grab that immediately. Maybe speed it up here a little bit. Bro had some shit to pray about, damn. There you go, okay, he's done praying, so go grab that. Because that's very important. Get a little freebie corpse. Some free meats, if you will. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Wolf. We got some coal. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and mark these trees. Because then we're going to start a mine over here. Maybe not this episode, but eventually. We're going to start a mine. Alright, we need to get some more straw. Oh, yo. Alright, so we got more berries over here, more berries over here. Yo, hella berries over here. Our bro's gonna live off of berries. There goes Frodo. Where you going, my dude? Oh, he's picking up clay. Nice. Good boy. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do for the clay. Because that's gonna take up a lot of room really, really quickly. All right, is he already putting it in here? Yeah, he's already putting it inside. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a, a similar pile like we did this. So I'll we'll copy it. And we're going to go like this. But this is going to be clear all materials, raw materials. This is where salt, clay, dirt, limestone. Yeah, that's where all that will go. Yeah, silver, gold, iron. Yeah, let's go ahead and just put all that. Coal we want to keep. Uh... Yeah, might as well put coal outside too. Yeah, might as well. Okay. So all that will go out here. And then we'll come in here. And we'll tell it hell to the no. So we'll uncheck that. But we will say yes to wooden sticks. So I want to keep those inside so they can stay dry. Alright, and there we go. Boom. Another little storage. Masterpiece. He's inside butchering. Alright, so let's... We're on the hunt for straw. Ah, right here. Yeah? Yeah, straw. Alright, ooh, we got another... Another corpse up here. More straw. Ooh, hella straw over here. Hell yeah. We're gonna need we're gonna need that definitely we're gonna need that straw so that's one thing and I, I've probably said it before but one thing that I would definitely recommend to the developers is with that straw like we can grow the herbs we can grow the berries you know we can grow everything else why not let us just grow grass have a little crop thing of grass so that way we can have a constant cycle of straw and hay because that's what they would do back in the den you know the in the day anyway 
back in the medieval times. Because they understood that that was a source, you know, for them to use. Thing. Okay, yeah, a little flax there, might as well. Okay. We found all that. Where's There was a body here in the middle. It already got picked up, I'm hoping. Let's see, where's he going? Okay, he's harvesting up all this. So today's going to be a harvest day. What I absolutely love is that he does that, then the dog comes back behind and cleans up the mess, so to speak. He was over here. Oh, he's getting some hay. Okay. Animals are hungry. I know. We're, we're solving that problem literally right now. Don't worry, senor. We are solving that problem right now. So he's finishing up right here. Alright, and he's coming around. Finish up right there. Good. Sweet. Construction failed. No. All right. There we got it. All right. So we got a covered area for... What did we say? Bucky? That's what I named it, right? Yeah, Bucky. Now he's getting himself some hay. Yep, so that's going to be a good little field source. Yeah, so that brings me to our next construction project. Obviously, I want to do a hay loft. So we're going to have to do something. I'm thinking... Like a little upper area, maybe right here in the middle. And then that's just all lined with hay. We'll put a post here and here. Do the supports as usual. Put ladders on each side so he can get to the top and then just store all the hay up top. I think that would be something really cool to kind of test out. So here, let's... Well, no, we're going to have to do it on a... Because if I start a deconstruction, he'll start doing that, and then all of our shit will be exposed. So let's wait until we get to a morning cycle. Where's Frodo? Frodo going out. Frodo going out for a day. Let's get some mushies and some herbs. All right. We got lots of stuff to get there. Animals are hungry. Auto saving. Let's have him real quick. Prioritize Phil. Yep, sorry, dude. Gotta get you up in the middle of the night. There you go. All right, now go back to bed. Just real quick, so that way, first thing in the morning, the cow can eat. If the cow does. Uh, wake up in the middle of the night hungry. Then he'll definitely eat. Let's check our downstairs. What we got? We got some pies, some roasted meats. All right, very cool. Got some bones there, Mr. Frodo. Those are the bones you chewing on? You playing with them? We got some little mushies growing right here. Very nice. Uh, another beautiful morning. Here we go. Let's get to it. That's just a shrub. Let's get rid of that shit. Oh, look, another one grew into that spot. So that worked out perfect. Everything's looking good. Just kind of doing an overall, overall analysis here. All right, where's he at? He is praying. He's got to get them praise on. It's like, dear rock god, please give me the strength to get through one more day. Yes, got to get to it. Where are we going, Utrid? We're going for mushies. Where are we going? We're going for herbs. Harvest those mushies. Oh, yeah, we got lots out here. Random pile of clay that the dog dropped, probably. I was just harvesting fool. 
It's just a harvest and... What? There's more. Where, where are you? There, there, there was more. Guy. My guy. Oh, it's time for cabbage. hey -o, Cabbage. There we go. Look at that. Reseeding like a boss. A little four-pack of cabbage. That's all we really need. No, 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 dude. You come and prioritize that haul. That is your hard-earned cabbage. You get that shit inside. We are filling up fast in here. Yeah, all this rock and clay and crap. That needs to get out of here. Hey, friendly visit! A scent of spices on the breeze preceded the arrival of a merchant caravan, lifting the spirits of Ronin inhabitants. Did it bring furs, cloth, or tidings from the wider world? I have so much to offer you, good people! The mercer cried out. Come, let's make a deal! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We've been waiting for this for a minute. We can sell off a bunch of this shit. <laughs> Wait, where is he? Where are you at? You're hungry. Alright, you're coming back. Let's get a little feast on. Get back to it. Go ahead and harvest that. We got the, the big bit out here, don't we? I thought a little bit there, a little bit there. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it was up on that f other far side. That's right. That's right. Oh, look, there they are right there. He's gonna come and pick some more berries for those berry pies. Mmm, delicious. Delicious berry pies. Oh, all berries galore. Bro's gonna live off berry pie. Mwah. I'm super jealous. I really am. Let's drop the trees. There we go. Eh, it doesn't really make a difference. He's just getting to it. Look at him, just, oh, oh, dude's a machine. He's like, oh, you need these berries picked? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, he fucked up the harvest a little bit. Oh, well, let's go. All right, where you at? Enjoying entertainment. Not before you barter, my friend. Here we go. Let's do a little bit. Ooh, he's got an ass. We could train a donkey. Do some more hauling. That would definitely help. Alright, so let's just put the ass over for now. <laughs> apple seed. Oh, some apple trees would be dope. Oh, yeah, I want those. I want those so bad. All right, beet seeds. All right, here we go. Birch saplings. Take all that shit. You can take our buckler. We got cabbage. We got textbook. We've got clay. We've got a carcass. We've got dirt. Here, take all the dirt. Ah, that exceeds. We got a doggo. We got herb seeds and herbs. We'll definitely give those up. Um, iron nuggets. You don't really get much for them. Ooh, leathers. Here we go. Let's give us a little something. We got a lot of deer leather. Get some polecat leather. There's this limestone. Maple saplings. Oak saplings. These are two a pop. Oh, that puts us over. All right, let me pull the sapling. Let's see how much weight we can save. So we're at 71, and we only went to 68. Okay, yeah, so it was more weight. It wasn't really... we got to look at high ticket items. High value, I mean. Ooh, pickled vegetables. Interesting. So what else do we have? Okay, so we have a sturdy spear we can give up. Got a lot of tallow. Let's give that up. Alright, see, we're getting closer already. Winter clothes. Let's go ahead and give those up. Ooh, we're so close. Alright, let's see what else I can get rid of. I mean, we got... 
we got more than enough pies. We can always make more pie. Like, I'm not worried about that. Same with roasted meats. We can always make more roasted meat. And give our dude a little something to eat while they're chilling, you know? Be like, hey, welcome, welcome in. Here, have a little something, something. Oh, we can accept it right there. We'll try and get as close as possible. There we go. Even Steven. All right, so we're getting rid of a bunch of old crap. Handing him some food, some leathers, some seeds, some herbs, a little bit of tallow, some weapons, clothing. And in return, we're getting apple trees and a donkey. All right, sweet. That is a good, that is a good trade. So go ahead and prioritize roping. Get him in there. All right, and then our donkey. We're gonna train. And our donkey is a female ass. <laughs> so what do you call a female ass? You call her Karen. <laughs> oh, that's just too good. All right, we got apple trees. I feel like these apple trees should go out here. What is this? Apple tree. That's what I, I feel like the apple trees should go here. Alright, so we got this lined up right there. There. Let's see, that was three. So one, two, three, and then so then here. There. Just like that. You got one, two, three, four. Alright. Figure the fire one, so they're one, two, three. Place one, two, three. Place one, two, three. Okay, cool. Okay, so don't cut. And this is a very high priority. Don't cut. Very high priority. Don't cut. All right, we want to keep keep it growing. We want a little add a little beauty, a little bit of beauty to our village. And we have some limestone, so let's add some limestone floor. Thinking, I'm thinking that, right? Just because we're Ronin doesn't mean we have to be uncivilized. Boop, 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 boop. And same thing here. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and just do that, and then it'll come up like that. Yep, and then the same thing here, like that. All right, there, we got ourselves a little courtyard. A little courtyard for him to build. Sweet. All right, it's still gonna look gorgeous. There's no reason for us to be total barbarians. We can still live, live well within our, our beauty. And those are ready to harvest, sweet. Yeah, get those apple trees out of that area. There we go. All right, time for bed. And another beautiful day. Awesome possum. I'm gonna train the donkey and get that thing ready for going out and collecting. And as always, it wouldn't be spring in beautiful medieval England without some rain. Our meat has rotted. Oh no. We've got <laughs> berries for days. Berries for days. Okay, let's do uh let's do a little morning hunt, shall we? Find something quick and easy. We got lots of wolves, deer. Alright, here, polecat. Let's hunt a polecat. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Ooh, there's a deer down here that's tameable. Anything over 50, or they all... You know, they're pretty much 50. We do have a deer carcass in here, but it's losing freshness. So just something that we need to keep in mind. Any 
getting resources for construction. And that was it. We used all our limestone. <laughs> Place two. He put two down. Oh, man. This guy. Alright, so we're going to have to get some more limestone. <laughs> oh, this dude. We got silver and limestone. Oh, we're losing... Uh, Losing some sound, it looks like. Yeah, we'll go ahead and mine that little bit out. Alright, you planted the apple trees, so that's good. Those will get going for the day. We're just going to harvest up all this stuff, because as we found, excellent source of uh, bartering. all the flax. Alright, looks like they're all heading out. So now we have flax seeds. Alright, so let's plant some flax. That totally worked out perfectly. It was my plan all along. Of course. Of course, of course. Alright, and then we're gonna need to mine all this out eventually. But, in the meantime, we can start the flax up here. Flax requires almost no skill. Alright. So let's go to overview. Uh, resources. Seeds. What do we have for flax seed? We have two, four, six. Ten. We have ten flax seeds. Okay. So we'll go flax seed. Go here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. But so six, that's ten. Alright, perfect. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Alright, that will be a very high priority. It's a very high priority. Those are very high. Yep, so farming is going to be the focus. At least for a good long while. Go ahead and rip that one out. Well, no, you know what? We'll leave it. We'll leave it. He can keep it. Alright, where you at, dude? Alright, here we go. He's heading in for harvest. Ah, he's gonna get those. And then let's get all that. He's gonna go enjoy some entertainment. Now he's going to go do some gardening. Alright, so he's going to come and get the flax seed. Perfect. And then he'll go and plant all of that. It'll be excellent. And the merchants have left the area. No, 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 bro. Come here. Get all of it. There you go. I don't want your ass coming all the way back out here again. Just for a couple more seeds. Get all of it back home. See, and then he might as well just... He placed it and then kept it. And there we go. We'll have a little flax garden up here. Wait for him to finish over there. Go ahead and chop this one down. Go ahead and chop this one down. Alright, he's going to go do more gardening. We got more seeds. Did we forget more seeds? Oh, no, he bailed on that, and now he's going to go pray. All right, fair enough. So then I'm thinking tomorrow, when he wakes up, it'll be a mining day. We'll have ourselves a mining day. So he's going to go and enjoy. Let's come here. So, hunt, grow. Yep, so mining's going to require some micromanagement, unfortunately. Harvesting resources. Where are you going now, dude? Where are you going now? Oh, you're gonna go grab some hay. Alright. Grab some mushies. Love a good mushy. Not really. 
In real life, no. On this game, perfect. They're excellent. In real life, hell no. You will not catch me eating a mushroom. And off to bed for little Uhtred. And where be Frodo? Ah, okay. Sleeping beside him by the fire. That's so adorable. 70 degrees in there. Nice. Toasty. Ooh, toasty. Just chilling in there. Stoking up the fire. Alright, when he wakes up, first thing we need to do is start clearing some space. So we're going to prioritize moving this as soon as he wakes up. Alright, come and do that. Do we have anything else? Yep, right here. Any other piles of crap? Um, no, but I don't see anything. Alright. So we got it all outside. That's good. So he's having himself a bite to eat. Delicioso. So we're finishing it off right there. Alright. Hey! Botany hit level 20. He's harvesting resources. Where are you going? Where are you going? Getting those mushies. Alright, bro is just like harvesting 24-7. This is the big thing that we need right here. So let's get him out here to, uh... Oh yeah, here he comes. Yeah, we need all of this. Oh no, bad harvest! No. Prioritize. Get over here. There we go, there we go. Get a whole bunch of it. Take it back to the stockpile. We need the hay. We've got hungry animals to feed. Oh, I love how they've walked it so much that it's dirt now. Alright, now what are we harvesting? Mushies! Excellent. Excellent! Hey, you're right here. Just grab it. And then come down here and get all this. Like, you're already right here. Might as well. The dog will grab the rest. Perfect. He can't carry as much as you, but that's fine. Yeah, clean up your mess, dude. Get that shit out of here. Alright. So, now we're gonna start some mining. Come on. Hey. Get your ass over here. What are you doing? Oh, he's using all the limestone that he's mining. That's fair. That's fair. I can't be too mad about that. Let's get this one. We'll go and do some more. Might as well get in a couple hits to get another batch going. Alright, and we're good for the night. So, for his jobs. We're going to switch it up now. So construction will be a priority. We're going to put this as a two. Harvest as a two. Animal husbandry. We're going to bump mining up to one. Okay, so we're switching it over. Because I want him to get all the mining done. He's going to play with some games. 
Little one on, a little 1v0 backgammon. <laughs> yep, don't really got anybody else. And it's bedtime. And damn it, Frodo, where are you? Where did you go, my dude? There you are. Ah, uh, doing a little, little trash dump. That's fair. Alright, let's see what we can grab here and what we can grab there. Some little stuff out here. Some goodies. Goodies are always nice. We can't really get up there to those. So that wouldn't be fair. We'll grab some more mushies. Some more herbs. And raw meat has gone bad. How's this carcass doing? Ooh, okay, so we need to butcher that first thing in the morning. So that's what he's going to do when he wakes up. Prioritize production. He is well rested. Time for an early wake up, my dude. Yep, we need to chop up that meat. And the dog is doing the trash run. Good boy, Frodo. Good boy. Alright, his culinary went up. Nice. Alright, manage. He's only to eat meals. We're at a point now where he can do that. No more eating raw berries in the barn. You're not a savage. Come on, Uhtred, you're better than this. Alright, he's training the donkey. Oh, come on. There we go. 34%. Alright, so we're getting there. Alright, now he's mining all this out. Good. Whew. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the music. Dog is cleaning up the mess. Let me go ahead and cut all this out. It's always good to have some sticks. The dog's just going to collect all the dirt. Because we're going to be using it for terraforming later on. Like when we fill in up right here and back here a little bit. Ah, he's going to go get his prayer on. Alright, how's he doing here? Well rested, fed... Getting that religious up. Oh, yeah, I got a little prey, you know. Alright, so his visibility is really low for ranged weapon because it's raining. That's actually... I actually didn't know about that, so that's something good. We're gonna make note now that if a raid happens in the rain, our archers aren't gonna do as well. So, noted. Look at all of these freaking wolves, man. We are definitely in a lone wolf territory. There is just a giant pack. D Hey, Lone Traveler! What's up, friend? How are we doing? This is definitely going to help out up here, all this extra space. Oh yeah, it's going to be so nice. Growing so much more stuff. Alright, I want him to, after he's done with that. Alright, dude, come do this. Come do this. Come do this. Come do this. There. So we'll go ahead and get those bushes and stuff out of the way. Because the other thing is I want those gone. And I think I want that edge gone there too. You know what? Let's take that whole edge piece like that. Open that up a little bit more. For the cattle. Yep, so he's going to be on mining duty for the next couple days. Is that... Oh, that was Frodo. I was like, who let a freaking wolf in? <laughs> Which, again, that's the great part about getting this wall up so early and blocking everything. Is now we're not being uh, taken advantage of by the local wildlife, if you will. Oh, okay, so he used this to... Interesting. All right. Come and barter real quick. Sorry, guy. We'll just get this out of the way. Alright, what has he got? Alright, he's got... Ooh, some fine wine. 
More apple trees, which we're good on apple trees. So the wine. All right, so we're gonna aim for the wine. That's gonna be our big thing with this go. Cabbage, he's got cabbage seed carrots. We don't have any carrots. Two, three, four, take four of those. He has a chicken, hell yeah. Let's get a chicken. He has an another dog, which we're good there, is it? It's fully domesticated. All right, so we'll sell our herb seed and our herbs. He's got some lavish meals. All right, we got some linen cloth. We're gonna wanna hold on to those. Um, tallow, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Keep an eye on the weight here. All right, he has a wolf. A domestic wolf, interesting. All right, we're at seven. All right, so it looks like deer leather is going to be the next big thing for us. All right, we're still doing good on weight. Come on. There we go. All right, so that's now... So we are going to get three wines, get some carrot seeds, and a chicken. I mean, we could afford to get some more. Here, let's go two more carrot, two more cabbage. Might as well just get all of it. Might as well, right? We got all this leather. I'm not doing anything with it. All right, there we go. We're gonna get ourselves a chicken and some alcohol. All right, sweet. Yep, yeah, I'm feeling good about this one. So, accept. Yeah. No, 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 dude. Prioritize, get everything inside. Yeah, we don't want all this shit sitting out here. Get all that put away. And then come get the chicken. Prioritize. Ah, it won't let. Damn it. Here we go, prioritize roping. Oh, that was dumb. The chicken was coming to him, but whatever. Okay, so the other big thing now that I want to do, and we need to set on here, is to make animal feed. Requires vegetables and some hay. We have three animals. You figure they eat three times a day, so go until... Let's go 12. Yeah, we'll do that. I think that'll be a little bit better. Okay, so for this, though... Um... Okay, so we'll use the cabbage. Let's say no on the barley. And it'll use the beets and the carrots. Okay. Because we want to use the barley to um, ferment so we can make alcohol. So the berries will make pies for him, and then he'll eat meat, and then the veggies that we're growing will go to feed the animals. Alright, yeah, we'll get a little... We'll get a little advanced. And hey, look at that, we're in the first day of summer. So I think now that we're into the first day of summer, right, we're doing a good job of doing about half a season per episode. So we just finished off spring. I think this is as good a spot as any to go ahead and call it for this episode. We've got a lot accomplished. We have a lot that we're aiming towards, right? Finishing up our beautiful courtyard. Finishing up mining our, our upper garden area. Going and getting more of the limestone and start getting some of that coal. We got ourselves a donkey. We got ourselves a chicken. We got a cow. We have a dog. So the donkey's carrying... Oh, we need a chicken name. It's a male chicken. Um, I know normally I just do McChicken because that's hilarious, you know, McDonald's. So what? I'll call him. No, 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 not McCocky. Um, I'll just call him BDE. He's got that big dick energy. 
Right, he's the chicken. It's a male chicken, he's the cock. So he's got that big dick energy. Perfect. Alright, but like I was saying, it's a good a spot as any to go ahead and call it for this episode. So I want to thank you all so much for stopping by and joining me on this journey. We got a lot of merchant trade going on today. Got ourselves our apple trees. I mean, all in all, we're making great progress on our little village of one here. Plenty of animals to keep Uhtred company. So as always, guys, hit that like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing, how I'm not doing. And if you haven't already, please, please, please smash that subscribe button. Definitely helps the channel out. And if you'd like to stay in the know, you can head over to Instagram. Follow me at Bears and Beans Gaming. I follow all gamers back. And if you'd like to show additional support for the channel, you can head over to Patreon and get access to all kinds of exclusives. Or check the link in the description for my merch. But again, here we are heading into summer. So I thank you all so, so much for stopping by. You guys are awesome. This is such a wonderful community. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.